It was a celebration for the Seals here at Hershey Park Stadium as Sealands Grove become state champs for the first time. It's overtime on WNPV1440.com. I'm Kyle Berger, Dan Morehouse with me as well. And Dan, a low scoring game, a 10-7 win for the Seals, but a heck of a lot more exciting than the score would indicate. This game was exciting in spite of itself because neither team could really sustain any kind of momentum, but there was, there was intrigue all night long. This is a game that you and I are going to be talking about for a long time. Late touchdown by the Seals, iced it. We talked to Coach Dave Hess after the game, and he said this is a great group of kids. He's proud to have coached them. And it's the best because we had the greatest group of kids in the world, and they proved that it takes good kids to do well, do good things. Uh, and that's what it's all about. You can't do that with kids that aren't great people. These kids have a whole lot of character, they're great citizens, they're great people, and they have a tremendous work ethic, and they're gonna be, I'm telling you, they're the future leaders of this country. Couple of big performers for the Seals tonight. Seth Lover, the fullback who scored the game-winning touchdown. That was set up, Dan, by maybe the best player on the field tonight, Ryan Kaiser from Sealands Grove. Ryan Kaiser had his name called on numerous occasions tonight. He was all over the field on defense, caught a few balls on offense, too. He's just a he's a, he's a football player. We talked to both Lover and Kaiser after the game. Here's what they had to say after the win. Oh my God, it was, it was ridiculous. I mean, we were wearing them the whole, the whole fourth quarter offense and I was wearing them on the defensive end. And we ran a play called 88 right at the ball. We come up behind the tackle and the, the guard pulls and kicks out. And just, once he kicked him out, I, just, I saw one guy and I just tried my hardest to get, enough, to get past that goal line. Dan Seelands Grove down for most of this game. They truly embodied the never say die spirit. Absolutely. Other than their field goal that made it 7 3, it took them 45 minutes to really figure it out on offense. And it was Seth Lover's power drives after the uh, Ryan Kaiser interception that finally allowed them to find pay dirt and come away with a 10 7 win. They're going to take this trophy and get out of here fast before the PIAA changes their mind. Sealands Grove a winner tonight 10 to 7 over Mannheim Central in a whale of a game. That'll do it for this edition of Overtime for Dan Morehouse. I'm Kyle Berger. We'll talk to you later on this weekend.